so you've been asked to turn your computer or your device in to get re-imaged. Well, we have to then save everything that we have, maybe on our desktop or in folders, over to Google Drive. And that way we have it on any device that we log into. Here's how we do it. There's a couple different ways that we can go ahead and get everything from our computer into Google Drive. And we want that because we can access any material that we have on our smartphone, on our Chromebook, on our PC, whatever you have, you're able to get to your material. When you sign into your account, the first thing that I'm going to do is go down to that Windows button and I'm going to find Google Drive here. Now, if you don't have this, this is okay. We, I have a second step or a second method that we can use in order to get everything into Google Drive. But this is a nice way to just drag and drop things into Google Drive if you have this already on your computer. So I'm going to click where it says Google Drive. And I'm going to sign in. This is where you're going to type in your email address and then your password. And you are going to have to use two-step verification. Okay. We have signed into Google Drive. Now, what you'll see down here in the bottom right corner is that Google Drive is loading your files. This is exactly what I wanted to see. And this little welcome screen comes up. So it just tells you that we can stream Google file, Drive files right to your computer. This is what we want. We want to be able to save things from our computer to our drive with seamlessly without having to go to another step. So it's got about six different slides here that it's just going to talk to you about why we're doing this. We're saving disk space. We can make things available offline to edit without a connection. Kind of cool. Any changes will sync automatically when you are back online. So if you do something offline and you get reconnected to the internet, it will sync your changes and save in Google Drive automatically. So now we get started. So what that just did is it opened up the Google Drive folder that is on our computer. And I'm going to show you that you don't have to actually click that button. I'm going to get out of it. You're going to go down to the folder icon on your computer. And what you're going to do, I'm going to open this up nice and big, is you can go down to this PC. And what you're going to notice now is that we have a G Drive, Google Drive. And if I click on that, you can see that I have my drive here. That's clicking down the drop-down menu. But if I click on the G Drive itself, you can see that I have my drive and shared drives, just like you would see in Google. I'm going to click on my drive, and you're going to see all of your folders and all of your documents or files that are loose in Google Drive below those folders. Everything is the same as Google Drive. Let me show you. You can see all of my folders, Kami Assignments, Kami Assignments, Kami Uploads, and it keeps going as I go down. Everything that is on the left side is the same on the right side, even down to the documents that you see that are loose. They are in the exact same order. So these two things are talking to each other now, which is great because we're able to automatically save. So how do we get our stuff that may be on your desktop, files that are on your desktop here, how do we get them into Google Drive? Well, two different ways that we can do this. If you have the G Drive, which we just signed into on your desktop, I can have two different windows here. And let me show you that you can split your screen. So I'm going to actually open up a second folder here. So all I'm doing is I'm going down to the folder that's here. I'm right clicking and I'm clicking File Explorer. And it's opening up a second window. The reason I want that is I want to be able to take from different folders or from different sections of my computer and I want to drag and drop them over to Google Drive. How do I get this so I can see both windows at the same time? I'm grabbing the top part of this bar and I'm just moving it all the way to the left. And you can see that outline. It's making it a split screen for me. And then I got many options of what I can do 
uh, for the second half of the screen, and I'm just going to click on My Drive. So you can see now that I have my computer, and I can work with this, and then my drive is here. So anything that I have here, any folder that I want to go ahead and move, all I need to do is take it from here, drag it, and I can drop it over into my drive. Now, it might be a little bit better if I go back to my drive, or I should click on Google Drive, but saved pictures, if I drag that and put it right over on top, copy to my drive, and let go, when I open that up, you can see that saved pictures has been saved, and the date is right here. So that's exactly what we want to do. Again, I'm going to click on where it says Google Drive, so I go back to where I can just drag and drop to my drive, copy to my drive, so camera roll gets dropped in there. If I open it up, you can see camera roll right here, and the date. It's exactly where we want it to be. So this is a quick and easy way to drag and drop everything that you need from your desktop into Google Drive. That way it's saved. Now, if you don't have Google Drive as an option, you can't sign in from your hard drive, we can do this a different way. I'm going to get rid of both these windows and I'm going to open up a Chrome browser. And I'm going to go directly to my drive. So here I am. I'm going to click on New once I'm in my Google Drive and signed in. And then I'm going to pick what I want to bring in. If it's a folder, we want to do folder upload. If it's a file, we want to do file upload. I know I want to try a folder, and so I'm going to click on that first. I'm going to go down and find Documents. And if I wanted to bring Cam my Camtasia folder over, I would click on it, and then you can see the button that says Upload. This will upload all of the files from Camtasia, so everything that's inside of it is going to be uploaded, and it's just making sure that I trust that folder and the contents in it. I'm going to click Upload, and now those things are coming into my drive. You can see that the Camtasia folder has been created, and now that check mark says that all seven items are inside of this folder. So if you wanted to bring individual files over, you would click New, Go to File, Upload, and then you would just go to those files that you wanted to bring over individually. You could actually use the Shift key or the Control key and then click individual files that you wanted to bring over. So if you want individual files with skipping one in between, hold down Control. If you just want to bring all of them over, click the first one, hold down your Shift key, and click the last one and then you're able to open this and it will bring all of those files over into your Google Drive. That should get you all set as saving everything from this school year or past school years or whatever's on your computer into Google Drive so that administration can do whatever they need to do to your computer to update it, re-image it for the upcoming school year. If you have any questions, make sure to reach out to me and I hope this video helped. We'll see you in the next one.